This is Daniel Paulus from 95.5 KLAQ, and I have the absolute pleasure on talking to Chris Holworth and Maria Brink of In This Moment. What's oh, up, man? We're happy to be here. Yes, we are so happy to be here. Thank you so much. Oh, no, thank you guys so much. Now, I, before the interview, I was telling you that I've seen you guys at least twice in El Paso. I've seen you at Speaking Rock in 2012 and at the KLEQ Street Fest in 2017. And I, I got to say, hands down, some of the coolest concerts you will ever see. But I do need to ask, I know it gets really hot in El Paso. So uh, how is it like <clears throat> playing outdoors in like 100 degree heat? Because I know that, that can run your makeup pretty badly. It's crazy, oh man. And it's still going on. <laughs> we just did the tour uh, it just ended like a couple of weeks ago and it was like a month and a half. And so many shows were at, you know, amphitheaters and it was so hot, as you know, and it's still hot right now. Um, oh, for sure. It's, it's crazy brutal. Uh, Maria has her own ways of dealing with it. The guys, we kind of just suffer through it. We have makeup that sealer keeps it from running so much and, and we're, our clothes are wet. Yeah, you know, at the end of the my show. clothes get wet too. I, I feel it. It's so hot up there. Like <laughs> said, we're and I wear a mask now for almost every song except for two songs right now. And so when my face is covered and I wear all these layers, but I surround myself with fans. It just makes me feel like I'm in this euphoric kind of fantasy world with the fog and the fan. Everything feels slow motion. Chris doesn't do the fan on stage. I've been telling him you got to incorporate it, but. It helps me on those, hair. those hot days. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, uh, do you guys have um, any favorite memories the last time you were in El Paso, which it wasn't too long ago. It was about six years ago. So do you have any memories uh, in El Paso? <clears throat> was 2017 the last time we were there? I believe so, yeah. I can't believe that, man. I guess COVID happened and everything. Um that street thing was cool. When you said it, I was like, we need to do that again because uh, we're doing this tour coming up and it's primarily going to be East Coast. But I know at the beginning of 2024 and going through 2024, we're going to be playing everywhere in the country that we haven't been, which is pretty much most of the country. And it would be rad to play that El Paso thing again, man. The, the street uh, things are awesome. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, if you guys do want to come down to El Paso, uh, I, I think I speak for everyone. I say, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our El Paso shows have always been awesome. Like, Texas it always is leaves, so good. Yeah. It really does. It leaves such a good impression. <clears throat> it's like the crowds are wild. It just feels like such a great energy. Mm -hmm. yeah, you guys love your, your music, man. That's yeah, amazing. it's amazing. Well, speaking of music, uh, I, I know the two of you have been – really some of the biggest driving forces uh, behind in this moment since 2005. And I, I honestly believe you're one of the heaviest and strongest metal bands of the 21st century. How do you guys keep that creativity going for now nearly 20 years? Oh my God, hearing people say it, it's always a shock. Um, <laughs> honestly, we don't know what's going on and we just keep doing it because we're too stupid to do anything else. And this is what we do. I mean, I don't know because we don't, don't really think of it like that so much and um every album is its own kind of thing where we're like okay what are we going to do now and we just keep going from one thing to the next and one thing to the next having COVID happen gave us a little bit of a reflection point you know in that kind of cycle yes <laughs> um but which was which was what made this album what it is I think it wouldn't have been this way if we hadn't had that but but yeah we don't even really think about it like that because we're just kind of in the middle of it going, oh, God, what are we going to do next? How can we make the show? Maria's always thinking, how can we make the show better? How can we make this better? How can this be bigger and better than it was and cooler? You know, that's just, it's never ending almost. Yeah, I think, yeah, for me, the the band and the music has been like, it's just, it's almost therapeutic for me. Like everything, I can just release it all into my music and into the creation. If I'm stressed about things in life, it's it's a distraction, you know what I mean? It gives me something to focus in on, something to be passionate about, something to be proud about. And then this beautiful community of people that we've built and like our fans just becoming our family with their support. And it's just, it's a magical place. <clears throat> we've kind of built up and I don't even know what we, I can't even imagine us not, not doing this anymore. It's so crazy to even think about it when that day comes and we're like, well, yeah. Well, I could definitely understand that. And going into the new album, 
God Mode, which drops October 27th, by the way. Mark, mark your calendars. I got to say, I have been watching the music video for The Purge for quite some time, and I love the song, but I absolutely love the direction of the video that you guys have. So my question is, when are you guys going to get it to like making movies? Because damn. Yeah, that's my dream. Yeah, I mean, that's the dream, you know, that to be able to get to that next step, find the time and the energy, <laughs> but to be able to incorporate, you know, that type of thing. I think Rob Zombie, I mean, to me, that would be the dream. I've been directing our videos for the last 10 years with Robert Clay. And then this new guy that we just met, I, Jen saying we were blown away by some of the stuff that we saw him doing. So when we reached out to work with him, Chris was like, absolutely this guy's insane and i yeah. was like i trust him because we saw the magical stuff that he was doing so it was really exciting to work with him and but i've always been really passionate about the video side and, and how we kind of bring ourselves to life you know in that cinematic way we could do we should do an in this moment movie chris a little short do movie it. or something <clears throat> um and yeah. use jensen for it yeah 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 he's really good well, I think yes, I, would love to see, I would love to see it in this moment movie for sure. And that actually kind of translates into uh, my next question. You were talking about new stuff that you guys want to do when making music videos. Uh, How does that relate to when you guys were recording God Mode? You know, were there any new tactics, new ex things you want to experiment uh, when recording God Mode? Uh, definitely. I mean, the whole idea of it was like, you know, industrial futuristic and and we've always felt like there is no like limits or whatever and we, we brought in some different um guitars like we used an eight string on a few songs and uh just you know we've always been like that though if we're in the studio and we're doing something and you know the producer kane Churko would turn a knob and it'll sound all crazy when he turned the knob we're like that's thick do that you know it doesn't matter if if it's not i didn't actually play that knob turn the knob turn made it sound sick so we're we're really open to to all the futuristic and trying to push things and not having limits on what we're doing in there, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we love to evolve and try to be creative and you know, the things that we've done, we've already done. So we like to also, you know, and follow like what you're feeling as well. Like sometimes you go into an album and you might be like in a sad place and then you might go into another album and be angry you know so i think emotions in our lives reflect into the music as well but we love we love being experimental it's just it brings us happiness and keeps it spicy well speaking of spicy uh i know that there's going to be a new cover song on this album and uh i was looking at the bio and you guys chose army of me by bjork and I personally thought that that's an interesting choice. But after listening to the song, it absolutely makes sense. It's dark. It's gritty. It's got, like you said, like an industrial feel behind it. And I thought, oh, yeah, that's perfect for you guys. <laughs> so my question is, you've done covers before, plenty of them, like Fly Like an Eagle, In the Air Tonight, Call Me. Is there any song that you have yet to cover that you just want to give that in this moment treatment? I mean, we always seem to pick the ones that we want to do it. Do it. So yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> we, we did the, the We Will Rock You. I was telling Maria, no, no, we cannot do We Will Rock You. And she's like, what if we had Taylor Monson and Lizzie and me doing it? And I'm like, if you had that, that would be awesome. <laughs> she, she made that happen. So there's no cover song off the table, really, you know, especially if it's a classic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we want to do it, we pretty much do. I love doing cover songs. I want to do a whole cover, like, EP. Like, for, it's just fun to me to bring my favorite songs that I've always loved, that always moved me or inspired me. It's cool to, like, do them and do our own interpretation, but also bring, you know, like, respect to that and lift the song up for what it is. And it's just, I don't know, it's exciting. I love doing it. I'm always trying to get the covers in. That's cool. Well, speaking of collaborations, uh, there's actually going to be uh, a new collaboration on this new record, if I'm correct. You guys mm -hmm. worked with Spencer Charnas of Ice Night Kills on one of the songs, Damaged. Uh, can you tell us what it was like working with Spencer on Damaged? Yeah, he's he's pretty he's pretty amazing. We 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 talked a few years ago, and we were like, we want to work together. We got to make it happen. Like we got to do a song and we've just really been trying to find the right time. And I think it all just lined up perfectly on this album. And 
Um, we love the energy that he brings to the song and he brings a really cool part of his voice that I don't hear from him a lot, which I think is really cool and interesting. And we're going on tour together and there's such a theatrical, amazing band. I think um, the whole lineup, the whole tour itself, especially the, them and us, I think is going to be really, really memorable tour. Yeah, that is a really good theatrical band for sure. Well, you guys are no stranger to theatrics as well. I mean, I've seen you guys for over a decade now, and theatrics are such a huge part of your show, and you're going on tour with Ice Nine Kills, and that's just you know another hugely theatrical band. I'm thinking you guys are going to go all out on this tour. So I was wondering, I mean, you don't have to go into you know, great detail, but can you give us maybe like a little sample of what fans can expect when they see you guys on tour? Um, <clears throat> well, yeah. You want to go first, Marie? No, you can go first. I was just going to say, it's the best to me, you know, I was standing on backstage, just taking it all in on the last tour. Um, and just like, this is the best we've ever sounded, the looked. Um, everything on stage is bigger and better than it's ever been. Uh, the lights, the, and there's other things that, that we don't want to spoil it, but people have never seen from us that are, that are just more. Um, so it's really a step up from anything anyone's ever seen from in this moment before. That's for sure. Yeah, exactly what he just said. It is a a whole production. You know, we work very hard and do pre-production and everything is like, you know, really I'm passionate about all of that. And we all are just what it all looks like and how it comes to life visually as well as sonically and having all the things line up and not all the we're bringing all the bells and all the whistles. And uh, like I said, I think it's going to be an exceptional tour, too, with all the things we have performers and certain we we fell in love with fire and now now there's like we've there's no turning back like we got a taste of it unfortunately not every venue on that tour allows fires but i know a lot of them a lot of them do but the pyro just brings everything to that next level it's like you could hear the crowd go oh (laughs) (laughs) and we have all kinds of plans for that for the future now too like develop the show more with 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 pyro and stuff (laughs) so what i'm getting here is if you're going to go see in this moment on tour bring some sunscreen because that is going to get hot (laughs) <laughs> it's going to be real there. hot. Because it is the venue. You know, some of the beautiful old <clears throat> theaters don't allow the fire, but they're such, they have such beautiful character themselves. So we still, they're there. And we have other bells and whistles that come into play. But yeah, we try to, if we can have it at this point moving forward, you know, we love it so much. No, that's, that's really cool. I'm excited to see, you know, if I'm able to catch you guys live, I will absolutely do it. But I know there's going to be plenty of videos of, of the shows on tour once it happens. So it's going to be really fun to see you guys go bigger and better. And speaking of big, Chris, I can't help but notice I've seen your personal Instagram page and you've posted on August 22nd your huge, as you call it, the nerd shrine and and there's like a ton of figures there <laughs> i see a lord shacks figure from destiny there's kiss figures there's the tie fighter from yeah. star wars now now i know there's a lot of stuff there but chris i gotta think there's something missing what is it what's missing from this giant nerd shrine of yours <laughs> oh dude there's the the sky's the limit there's so many things out there they're, they're worthy of the nerd shrine so many action figures i couldn't fit them all on here um, but dude, I just keep throwing stuff up, up here. My latest edition was the Randy Weitzel mini guitar. I put it up, put it down there, but I have an Eddie Van Halen one. I got a, an original whore hat of Maria's up here. I've got <laughs> the Red Rider BB gun. Yes. Like yeah. know, all of it. I got a Louisville slugger for, for in this moment, uh, from the louder than life thing up here, you know, oh. alien action figures, star Wars stuff, arrowheads, all kinds of classic album. Yeah. Just all my junk. I love it. So cool. I love it. I, I know I got a little bit of time left. So um, before we wrap up here, there's there's one question I've always wanted to ask um, anyone I get a, the pleasure talking to. Is there any artist that you have yet to collaborate that you really, you're just dying to do a song with in the future? For me, it's Trent Reznor. <laughs> Trent Reznor. <laughs> yep. Oh my God, a Nine Inch Nails in this moment collaboration. Trent, if you're listening, man, we got to make this happen, bro. 
Come on, man. Yeah, let's work together, dude. I'll Get on it, brother. I'd be down for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my dream collaboration. Well, I really absolutely appreciate your time, Maria and Chris. I, I, I thank you so much for spending uh, just a couple minutes to let me pick your brains for a little bit. And I know we haven't seen you guys in El Paso in a while. So I speak for everyone from KLAQ, from El Paso, and myself, of course. We love you guys, and we cannot wait to see you guys back in El Paso. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. El Paso, we're coming for you. We cannot wait to come back and, and make some memories. And we will be back. Yeah, we're excited yeah. To, to come back and see everybody, man. Thanks for the great interview. Yeah, no, thank th you so no, very much. No, thank you, guys. All right. God Mode, dropping October 27th. Mark your calendars, yep. folks. Yep. And the purge is out now. The purge is now. Now. Yeah. <laughs>